So when we define our variables, we've got to do it actually in a couple of different ways. So this one's going to be a little bit different. All right. One of them, I don't care which, either the quarters or the dimes are, have to be X because I can only have one variable. Okay. So let's just say X is a number of quarters. Number of, and I'm just going to do Qs for quarters. All right. Now I have to write something algebraic to represent dimes. I can't use a Y, but I have to use something they've given me in the story problem. I know that this is X number of coins. Might be four coins. If this is four coins, how many coins do I have to have in dimes? Six. Someone said six because there's 10 total, right? So if this is, if, if it, well, I don't know that it is, but I'm saying if it was four quarters, then the number of dimes would have to be six because four plus six is 10. All right. So algebraically, since I don't know what X is, all we did was took 10 minus what I said that number was. So 10 minus x, whatever that number happens to be, will be the number of dimes. Now, this is where you got to think outside the box a little bit. They've given me a dollar and 45 cents. That is referring to money. So I can't think of these as just plain quarters and dimes as terms of X and 10 minus X. Somehow I have to involve the fact that a quarter is 0 0.25 or 25 cents. A dime is 0.10. I have to use those numbers in here somewhere. And as the way I've defined these right now, I have not, right? But what can we say about this? I'm going to do like a little double arrow thingy there. All right. What do we know about the quarters? All right. Each quarter equals 25 cents. So 0.25. I'm just going to write 0.25 there. All right. Just so we know. I know I wrote it up there, but let's write it down here. Each dime, each of the dimes represents 0.10. So if I wanted to know how much money X quarters are, I would take X times 0.25. Because if I had 10 quarters, 10 times 0.25, that'd tell me how much money. If I had six quarters, six times 0.25 would tell me how much money. So when I go to write my equation, okay, then that's how I'm going to do this. The number of dimes is 10 minus X. All right, well, to find out in money, I would have to multiply by 0.10, okay? So from there, I think we're good to write our equation. I'm going to have the amount of money from the quarters, okay? So the amount of money from quarters, 0.25x. Multiplying those two things will give me the amount of money from my quarters plus the amount of money from the dimes. So 0.10 times the number of dimes. So 0.10 times the number of dimes. And there is all my money added up, the amount of money I have from the quarters plus the amount of money I have from the dimes. And that has to equal a dollar and 45 cents. Now I have an equation. Now I can solve this. And since I let X be the number of quarters, when I solve this for X, that number will be the number of quarters because it's the way I define the variables. Okay, so that one I'm not gonna do anything with here. So let's leave 0.25X, mess around here. 0. 0.10 times 10 is just gonna be a one minus a 0.10X. And then combine some like terms here. 0.25 minus 0.10 is going to give me like a 0.15 plus the one equals a dollar and 45 cents. Subtract one. So a 0.15 X equals a 0.45. Divide by both sides by that 0.15. It's going to give me an X equals three. Anybody that would not have wanted to work up with a problem with decimals, you could have multiplied through by 100, 
and it would have gotten rid of all the decimals. I generally choose not to do that, but a lot of people will do that. A lot of people get rid of all fractions because they don't like to do fractions, so I get rid of fractions. A lot of people will get rid of decimals because they don't like the decimals in there. You are more likely to make a mistake with decimals in there. So that line right there, I could have multiplied through by 100. That would have gotten rid of all my decimals, and then from here on down, I would not have had any decimals. All right, so that is X is the number of quarters. So I've got three quarters. Okay, three quarters, and then 10 total. So then I have to have seven dimes.